This conference is all about celebrating and challenging the creativity, the ingenuity that you all bring to build new and great things on top of platform innovations that we make available to you. It is our mission to empower every person and organization on the planet to achieve more. We want you to be able to bring your skills, your technology choices, your languages to our platforms and then build from there new and great things. We're opening up the office user experience for all of your applications in fundamental ways. This fundamental platform shift of Office where the users, the one billion plus users of Office are available for you as developers, we believe is going to change the very fundamental nature of what Office is to becoming really a platform uh, from us and from you together. Windows 10, as I said, is not just another release of Windows, it is a new generation of Windows. So today we're announcing that you will be able to compile the same Objective-C code that's being used in iOS applications within Visual Studio on Windows. That you can reuse your current server-hosted website code and tools and take advantage of the rich capabilities of the Universal Windows platform. And it's very exciting to share, we'll enable developers to reuse nearly all of the Java and C++ code from an Android phone app to create apps for phones running Windows 10. Microsoft Edge is the browser built for Windows 10, and it'll be available on the widest range of Windows 10 devices. It is a browser that end users will think about for getting things done, um, for things like note taking on the internet, for a great way of reading and consuming content. And it's a browser that has Cortana built in, so it learns the things that you care about and helps you get things done. We're gonna help all of you and our end users discover value in the Windows ecosystem on the lock screen, on the start screen, with Cortana, with Microsoft Edge, and how we're gonna enable great new devices with Continuum. Windows Holographic embraces this notion of experiencing life in three dimensions. By mixing digital content right into your world, right into your life. So let's take a look at how portability of experiences enabled by Windows 10 can change the way makers like you interact with the physical things that you build. applications that can change the world has never been greater. At the core of our company is empowerment, empowering us all. Imagine, how could you make your business more intelligent using data? Where do the digital customers using your services come from? How can you engage them better and improve customer churn? How would discounts affect your inventory and margins? Imagine, if you could use data to analyze these questions and intelligently predict outcomes. But each question could take hours, maybe even days, requiring more servers than you have in any on-premise data center. But now, you can use Azure to add unlimited compute power to your questions. Introducing SQL Data Warehouse. The new SQL Data Warehouse service is easy to create and can be launched in minutes. It's the industry's first cloud data warehouse that can grow or shrink to any size in seconds and which you can use to intelligently answer any question using data. You can easily import data from any data source with automated data pipelines from Hadoop, NoSQL and SQL databases, IoT as well as on-premise applications and systems. Then you can easily create reports against it as well as visualize it. Simply connect Microsoft Power BI to a SQL Data Warehouse in just seconds. It also unlocks the ability to easily use predictive analytics. Azure Machine Learning can now use petabyte-scale data with applications written in R and Python.
to analyze customer product recommendations or assess customer churn risk. You can expose machine learning APIs that your apps can call to more intelligently interact with your customers. A data warehouse that can scale up in seconds enables Power BI and Azure Machine Learning to tap into unlimited query power. So you can visualize and explore unlimited scenarios. The power to use data to build intelligent apps has never been greater. Windows 10 embodies what our consumer and our enterprise customers are demanding. We will be making available a free upgrade. Cortana, we're excited to welcome you to the PC. The Windows Insider program gives us that connection at an earlier phase than in any other time in the history of Windows. We want to move from people needing Windows to choosing Windows to loving Windows. We're excited to have just announced that the Continuum feature will be coming to phones in Windows 10. And what that means is you'll be able to carry a new phone device in your pocket and then at any time connect it to a mouse, keyboard, and larger screen and unleash a PC experience almost just like the one you'd get from a full PC device. So let's say you're on the road and all you have with you is your phone and your company has touchdown spaces where people can drop in and use a full keyboard, mouse, and screen. You simply connect to your phone and then your Outlook mail experience, which you use on the phone screen all the time, now scales up to be a full PC-like experience. You can use the mouse and keyboard. You'll see all your folders on the left. You see all your messages in the middle. You can preview them on the right. And when you reply, you're using the full power of Word also built into your phone. All your keyboard shortcuts will work the way you expect. You can get work done very effectively using your phone like a PC. 
You could also imagine you're on vacation and you're gonna connect your phone to the TV screen in your hotel room. Now you have a way to show those vacation photos that you've been taking, or you can use the dual screen capability to let your kids watch a video while you're catching up on your email or text messages and they're not interrupted. You, you might wonder about some of the details here. Well, because Windows 10 shares common technology between the PC, the Xbox, and the phone, we have common code that knows how to connect devices wirelessly, like keyboards and mice. So that's already there. And with new parts from Qualcomm, we have processors that can drive two screens separately in these new phone devices. And so that's how we enable the phone screen to work independently from the PC screen. And the whole story comes together because of the universal Windows platform, where software developers, including Microsoft for apps like Excel and Outlook, are writing apps to Windows that can scale from a phone device up to a PC. When you run one of those apps on your phone device with a big screen, it looks and works just like it would on the PC. Other companies have built products kind of like this, but it's not the same. In those cases, you have a phone running phone apps that's docking to a keyboard and mouse, but those phone apps were never designed to work with a mouse, keyboard, and large screen. With the universal Windows platform in Windows 10, software developers are writing their apps for the PC and for the phone. And when those apps, including apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, when those apps are run with a mouse and keyboard, they work exactly the way the user would expect. This continuum for phones feature requires new special hardware capabilities, which will be built into phone devices that'll ship with Windows 10 after it's available this summer. We believe this enables the vision of the phone in your pocket with your data and your apps being able to light up any mouse, keyboard, and screen wherever you go, giving you the full power of a PC experience. The hardware allows us to take these visions, these ideas about these new products and make it all real. Imagine a computer that allows you to put your images anywhere and you can interact with things as a combination of the real world and holograms. You have a bunch of different systems that need to come together in one big symphony. Every time you think you understand it, it's like peeling an onion. There's suddenly another layer of things which you suddenly realize, oh yeah, of course, we have to figure that out now. We don't have room for error, we don't have room for drift, we don't have room for those normal things that happen in a device. So it's working with these people across the world and bringing it all together into this brand new product. We envisioned an all-in-one device that is untethered with built-in batteries, hands-free, and floating audio. You have to come up with a holographic processing unit because you're constantly producing data every single millisecond. Visor lens is so complex. While it looks very simple and pure, it needs to accommodate so many requirements to see progressive content. The audio components need to take in all of that information about where is my head, where am I looking, so that your brain knows that there's something real over there. The enclosure wraps around the user's head to provide great away distribution. We have so many sensors on this product. To read all those in real time and to do that in a very power efficient way requires the power of what they develop with the new version of Windows. We need to get the hardware just right so that we can sort of unleash that creativity in the world. I think we have great ideas. I think when we get it out to developers, we're gonna get hundreds of great ideas. We wanna get it out to people and show them, hey, this is real and this actually works. Now, let's see what you can do with it. Thank you.